You know, as homeowners, um, you end up accumulating so many different things. Uh, and often, a lot of times, those things get stored in your garage, um, many times haphazardly. So you just take the things that you have, you put them in a corner of the garage, um, pull your cars in, and hope everything that fits together. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, once you have kids, they have their things, and, and um, they need a space. They need a space to put their things. Uh, and so you really end up having this big space. You put a lot, you put your cards, you store a lot of stuff in it. Uh, and it's not always the most organized. Um, and it just got to a point to where for me, uh, we had this garage, we were, we, we were accumulating some of the things that my daughter needed, um, some of my tools and things that we use for the yard. Uh, and ultimately I needed some help getting some uh, organizational uh, uh, tips, <laughs> if you will, uh, for the garage. Uh, and so I was able to come across um, Zone Garage and, and I reached out to them and spoke with Harry, the owner, who has been just fantastic. He was, he promptly said, I can, I can help you. Um, I can be at, be at your house, you know, in, in, in short order. Uh, and so he came through and did just a wonderful job looking at the space and getting understanding of what does this, what can this space accommodate? What could we do differently? Um, what do we do with the floor in, in order to help brighten some things up? Uh, and he had a plan and he had a vision um, and he shared that with me and said, this is what I think we can do. I think it's going to make a big impact. You're going to have a lot, a lot more places to put things and you're going to feel a lot less cluttered. Uh, and so I agreed and uh, he very shortly thereafter, he brought his team in um, who were just fantastic. They came in, they moved everything out of the garage, um, you know, in short order. Uh, and then they got to work on really understanding where we were going to put cabinets. Um, what were we were going to do differently to the floor, uh, how we were going to get the bikes um, out of the way so that they could easily be accessed but not necessarily get in, in any walking spaces and still have plenty of space for the, for the cars. Uh, and so he, he got to work, and started with the floor, grinded out the concrete, and now we have this amazing uh, epoxy-based floor. Um, and it's just incredible when you pull in it has transformed the look of the garage and it's brighter in here. It reflects the light. Um, the, way we or the way he organized everything and put cabinets in strategic places and uh, slat walls in places, I didn't even know we, were, we, we even had uh, things like that in order to organize, um, made a huge difference in how this space is. And so it's transformative. And a lot of, again, I think a lot of people think it's a garage, it's, it's kind of a place that's gonna be dingy and dirty. I throw my cars in there, I throw my shoes and, and I kind of forget about it, but it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, it really can be a space that you can enjoy, especially if you use tools, if you're in and out of your garage, if you need the help with the organization, um, it makes a big, big difference. And, and Harry's uh, an exceptional person. His team has been fantastic. Uh, and his work, I think, is, is incredible. And so I'm very, very grateful that I've had the opportunity to work with him and, and have such a big change happen uh, to this space. So Harper, do you like what Daddy's done with the garage? Yes, now I can find out my stuff.